Pastors Larry and Tiz are hosting a tour to Israel next May, and you're invited. The One New Man Israel Tour will take place May 18th through the 29th. If you've never been to Israel before, don't miss this chance to see the Holy Land with Pastors Larry and Tiz as your guides. They're able to show you the land of the Bible in a way no other tour can match. To actually see the footsteps where Jesus actually walked, to see the different historical sites is so amazing. And I would admonish anyone who has been thinking about coming to Israel, thinking about going on a tour, this is the perfect time to do it. From a spiritual side, it is absolutely amazing to see the sites, to know the Bible is true. Um, to read, connect in the real life with what I read in the Bible. Um, there's a spiritual presence here which you don't find anywhere else in the world. Pastor Larry explains at every place our connection to our Jewish roots. He prays for us, he takes the time, he rides in the bus with us. It's just a very personal one-on-one -on -one time and um, you should come. Reservations are filling up quickly, so make sure to confirm your place on this trip as soon as possible. For more information, you can contact Yala Tours at 800-644-1595. We look forward to seeing you in Israel in May 2019. I want to ask you to pray for us right now because just as we were getting ready to roll the cameras, God gave me a rhema word. I mean, I'm, I'm yep. writing it down here. God gave me a word, a rhema word for you. Listen to this. The Bible says, and we all know this, the steps of yes. a righteous man yep. are ordered by the Lord. Right. What does that mean the steps mm. of a righteous man or a righteous woman are ordered mm. by the Lord. Ancient Jewish wisdom says, whenever God is leading you mm. into doing something that will change a person's life, right. it is your soul being led by God mm. to that place mm. that only your soul Wow. will make the difference. I'm going to wow. explain that when we get back. Your soul is being led wow. right now. That's why you're watching. The Bible says, and this is a scripture that Tiz and I have learned to live by, yes. and, and we release this onto yeah. you. Don't worry about what you're going to eat or what you're going to wear, yep. but seek ye first the kingdom of God yes. and his righteousness. righteousness. Now, I'm giving this to you. I wrote it down as we're getting ready to, yeah. to film this program yep. today. Don't worry about what you're going to eat. Don't worry about what you're going to wear. But seek ye first, God, what is it yes. that you're doing? You said it last week. Yep. God, what are you doing, and how am I to be a part Amen. of what you're doing? Yes. We don't, we don't have to get up and pray, God, bless me in my job, bless right. me. Even if you need a breakthrough, yeah. God has made covenant with you yes, through the has. blood of Jesus to take care Amen. of this. Yep. What we have to do is our part of the covenant when we take care of what God wants us yep. to take care of, yes. and I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, I'm, I'm going to uh, go off of what I taught last week here yeah. in a minute. Yeah. There's a when we do what God's calling us to do. Yes. Then God will do what He's already said He's going to yes. do. So, so let let me say it again. It's so powerful. Mm. Seek what God is doing. Yeah. And seek, look for yeah. the place of righteousness. Amen. The word righteous means acts of kindness, right. acts of charity. We are the righteousness of God. Yes. We are, through Jesus mm. dying for our sin, we are recipients yes. of God's act of charity, yeah. God's yeah. act of kindness. Awesome. So 
How many times have we had people say, Pastor, pray that I'll have the mind of God, right. pray on my job, my right. business, who I'm going to marry, whatever the case may be. Right. And we always pray the steps of a righteous, righteous person man. are guided by the Lord. Yes. So let's look at it this way. The steps of a person who is doing acts of charity and yep. kindness for others, that person... That's awesome. Their life That's will be directed That's by excellent. God. That's for the sure. steps of a righteous yes. person, a person yes. who is doing acts of kindness. Yep. So understanding this, let me read again what I what I what I wrote down. Let me see if I can find it. Okay. And I wrote it this way: whatever part of the world yeah. God brings to your attention, right. this is all God's plan. And listen to what it says in ancient Jewish Hebrew. For you are being led to the places yes. that awaits your soul mm. to respond to that need yes. and fix it. Amen. I love that. You know, Truett said when, when I was, we were talking about this right when I was writing it down. How many times have you felt God tugging oh, yes. on your heart? Oh, yeah. Well, what he's doing is he's tugging on yes. your soul right. because that place yeah. or that need is waiting mm -hmm. for your soul to respond and be the light awesome. in that situation of darkness. Yes. And through your good works, yes. they will glorify your Father in heaven. A am I oh, making sense? Because yeah, yeah. I just wrote this down totally. and I go, this revelation of coming, of, of, of connecting these scriptures yeah. to realize that it's so simple. Yeah. You go know, ahead. I love that because all of us, I think, want to make a difference in the world. I don't think you can love God and not feel compelled to try to make a difference in some way. Right. But if you just look at the whole world, it's like overwhelming. I mean, where do you begin? Where do you start? And it's so eye-opening to know that God has every area covered and that we are to be faithful, not with the entire world responsibility, but with what he puts in front of us Whatever he puts do. in front of us. Even Jesus said, Father, I've been faithful not with the world, but with those that you gave me. That's right. There was a focus. And I love that you're saying that draws you, your soul draws you, because we do feel that. Yeah. I love that. Well, you know, and, and the way this came up, and we're going to go to a break in a minute, I'm going to get back to you being the light of the world. Uh, re, our, our call of, of being the light of the world love is to that. fix a broken Amen. world, to fix a world that's broken. Yes. We're going to share how that, world, how that world got broken. But think about this. In ancient Hebrew, there's no word for coincidence. coincidence. And that's such an, it sounds like a light thing, but that's such an important yes. thing to understand. Yeah. Jesus said they have eyes, but they don't see. Yeah. But blessed are you who have eyes and you do see. see. Vaya are. I can, mm -hmm. Well, I, I can see with my physical yeah. eyes, but God wants you to see with your physical eyes, with a yod, what God is doing, yes, to yes. see what God, blessed are you who see what God is doing. Amen. And so when the Lord says you're the light of the world yeah. and let your light so shine, well, yeah. how do I, you know, we used to sing, this is the light of mine, <laughs> I'm going to let it shine. And that's wonderful. That's great, yeah. But God then tells us Especially how to let quickly. that light shine Love that. by good works, Amen. by acts of righteousness, yes. by acts of stetka, yes. by acts of kindness. Amen. And when they see your good works, they will glorify your father, yes. which is in heaven. And then Ephesians chapter two says that we are created in Christ yes. Jesus. And then he says why we're created in Christ Jesus. And this is when we come back from the break. Yeah. I'm going to bring a tremendous revelation yeah. that ties us all the way back to Genesis chapter 1. And he says, before time even began, mm. we were wow. created in Christ Jesus wow. to do good works. Wow. That is tied into tikkun olam, yes. repairing Amen. a broken world. Amen. We met a couple weeks ago, and I shared this uh, it, it last week. And I don't say this, I say this to brag on you because we're just your representative. Yes. But we gave, we already gave, as yep. we vowed, and we did it two months early, yep. a check for a million dollars to the Israeli government yes. to partner with, to bring Jews to the land of Israel, sure according is. to Isaiah, according to the word of God, the promises of God. 
And so some friends of ours from Israel came to Dallas to thank us. Yes. And so I said to them, what's next at lunch? We we went out to lunch. I said, what's next? (laughs) Be honest with you. I was saying, what's next for next year? Yeah. They said, well, right now we have a window. It's just open. It's a two-month window. Right now it's a three-week window. Mm. And then that window closes. As a matter of fact, there's political pressure trying to close it close early yep. where 1,000 Jews from Ethiopia can get out. Whew. It's a window. It's a window yes. that is, here's the window. Here, here it was a month ago, and wow. now that window is here. And the reason you're watching is because your soul mm. is Guided by the Lord. The Mm. steps of a righteous person are guided by the Lord. Your soul, the reason why you're feeling this urgency Mm. is God is tugging on Mm. your soul to go into that place and repair a broken Mm. world. Our announcer is going to talk to you about some of her gifts. Tiz and I are going to be right back to talk about where did the world break and what's your part in fixing it. As you've heard today, it's urgent that we receive your help now to save these dear Jewish people by making it possible for them to Aliyah to Israel. Time is running out and Pastors Larry and Tiz are asking you to give today before this window of opportunity closes. For your gift of any size, we want to say thank you by sending you this informative Names of God booklet. It's an incredible study aid outlining and defining all of the names of God found in the scriptures. And since this month's offer is keep one, give one, you'll receive two. As you are able to sow a love gift of $100 toward helping these Ethiopian Jews, we'll add in this beautiful pen covered in the names of Christ. You will want to use this pen for your Bible study notes and for many more everyday uses. Remember, you'll receive one to keep and one to give to a friend. For your gift today of $375, we'll include this daily devotional entitled 100 Names of God. Each page provides a reference and a revelation of the various facets of God's nature and His love. You'll get one to keep in your library and one to give away. If you've been looking for an opportunity to make a significant gift before the end of the year, Pastors Larry and Tiz believe this Aliyah project is a chance for your giving to make a real difference in someone's life by providing them with a future of peace and security. For your generous gift of $750, you'll not only be covering the cost of bringing one person to Israel, but you will also receive two copies of this special edition Names of God Bible. With more than 10,000 references to God restored to the original Hebrew meaning, names like Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Sidkenu, and Jehovah Rapha have been reintroduced into their appropriate places in the Word. This enhanced version of the scriptures will broaden your understanding of who God was and is in every situation of your life. And as you give today to save lives, you'll be receiving two of every resource mentioned. Our operators are standing by now to receive your offering. Simply call 800-978-8546 and let us know what level of giving you want to participate in and we'll get these gifts out to you right away. If you prefer to give online, you can easily do so by going to LarryHuck.tv and choosing your level of giving there. Remember, you can always opt out of receiving the resources mentioned if you choose to do so. Again, the number to call is 800-978-8546. Or if you prefer to send your gift in by mail, please make note of the address on the screen. We know you have a choice when supporting charitable projects, and we want you to know that your gift today will literally be saving the lives of Ethiopian Jews. You are giving into good soil, and pastors Larry and Tiz truly appreciate your sacrifice. Thank you again for your generous support, and we hope you'll take advantage of this special Keep One, Give One offer. Now, let's rejoin Pastors Larry and Tiz. You know, I know that you're going to help us to save these Ethiopian Jews' lives, to bring them back to Israel, because it's the righteous thing to do. And, And so many of you say it's not about the product, but as you sow into this ministry, 
we want to sew something, not a gimmick, not just a little oh, something yeah. you can put on your shelf, but something that will, will help you yes. uh, know that truth yeah. so that truth can set you free. Yeah. And, and I love this Bible. I love I the love leather it. on it. I love the way it feels. But most of you know, but let me explain. This Bible takes 10,000 times right. in the scriptures that say God or the Lord yeah. and gives the original name of God Amen. in that scripture. Why? Because in one scripture, he, it, it, where it says the Lord or it says God, it may say Jehovah Jireh or right. Jehovah uh, uh, or Yahweh right. or Jehovah Shalom. And the name of God yeah. is so important so to important. us in the meaning of that scripture yes. to your need in your Absolutely. personal life. So along with that, we've also got the pen with the names so of God. Cool. And, and in the front of the Bible, I love this. Uh, I, I love this. Uh, we've got all the Hebrew, the names of God in Hebrew. So and then cool. we have a, a work piece I to go along that. with it yes. of a hundred of the names of God yes. and to tell you exactly what that name yeah. means and what it means to you. And applies to and your so life. And it, so it, it's, it's so powerful. Plus, how, real quick, this is a twofer offer. Oh, yeah, you that's right. You buy one or, or you get one and then you get to give one. So you oh, get a double right. offering there. And it, during the holidays, that's perfect for you. You're going to be blessed and you can bless someone else. Yeah, with give it. it to your son, yes. your husband, your wife, your daughter, whatever Absolutely. the case may be. And so so our way of, of, of saying thank you yeah is to bring wisdom to you. And yes. that's why we do these programs. We do it, one, is to, to stand for the kingdom of God, stand for the nation of Israel, yeah. and, and but also to, to teach you because yes. literally it is the truth that you, you know. it's not the truth that sets you free. It's the truth you know. No. And that word own. know means own. own. It's the truth you, you own. own. All right, so let me get back to what we're saying because, you know, I, I think I said this last week or maybe we were just talking about it. In Judaism, in, in rabbinical study of the Bible, there are four levels right. of understanding of the Bible. Yeah. And w we kind of know that as Christians, the milk of the word, the meat of the yeah. word. But that's called in Hebrew, the first level is called Peshat, the next level is Remes, Drash, and Sod. Yeah. Now you take those letters and when you get to the deepest part, those letters spell paradise. Yes. And it's a revelation of in the last days That's in amazing. Genesis, the angel will stand yeah. at the gates of the garden or the gates of paradise to show us the way back in. Right. And the way that happens is that we get to that deepest level of revelation yeah. is we take individual scriptures mm. and boy, this scripture says something in this scripture. Yes. But when God in the last days opens our eyes, yes. We see how these scriptures are connected. Right. And when we see how they're connected, God shines his light yes. upon the, his revelation, his Shekinah, yeah. on the word, and it reveals to us secrets. Awesome. That's why it's an amazing thing that the, 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 the Hebrew word for secret yeah. is the word raz. The Hebrew word for light is the word or and they have the same numeric number. Huh. And what that means is, is take what Jesus said in Matthew chapter five. Mm. You are the light yes. of the world. Yes. When they see, let your light, right. your light shine before men. Yeah. When they see your good, good. works, yes. they'll glorify your father in heaven. Yes. Tie that in with, with um, Ephesians chapter two, you're created in Christ Jesus yeah. for good works. Right. The, the Hebrew understanding of that is when we do good works, when, when God has shined his light, let, let me put it this way. You and I are running a race. Somebody passes me the baton. Mm -hmm. They pass me right. the light of God. Yeah. My job when I have the light right. is to pass the light onto you. Right. But the amazing thing is when I pass the light onto you, I don't lack light. Yeah. God illuminates more light That's on excellent. me and reveals to me yep. the secrets yeah. of the kingdom. Yes. Now, it's like lighting a candle. It's, it's like you lighting perfect. my candle. It doesn't perfect. diminish your light. 
it multiplies and multiplies on down the line. And, and yeah. another thing about a candle is when you, let, let's say this is the wick, you light that candle, I light your candle, right. and my light doesn't go yeah. out, yeah. now it's it multiplied, yep. the light is greater, yep. and another interesting thing about the light, which represents the Shekinah glory of God, the power of God, the presence of God, no matter which way you dip that light, oh, yeah. the flame always still Isn't points to heaven. Something. And so tie that in, I, I didn't get to Genesis chapter one, we'll, oh. we'll have to do that tomorrow. <laughs> Tie that in with what we're saying here is when we are, when your soul, I need to talk about this tomorrow. Mm. When your soul, when you're, before you're born, your soul stands before God mm. and God gives it missions mm. to be the light in the world. Right, so right. when Jesus lights, when somebody comes and lights your candle, your mission then your soul is to go into places of darkness. Yes. Let me say it again. This is God's plan. You are being led to places that awaits your soul. Yes. The flame is always symbolic of mm. the soul of Love man that. and the Shekinah of God. Yes. These places are awaiting your soul mm. to respond wow. and tikkun olam, yes. fix what is mm. broken awesome. right now. There are 1,000 Jews in Ethiopia hmm. and the window is down. Hmm. This is not something, well, you know, after Christmas or, right. you know, after we got all the gifts under the tree. Right. This is something that we've got to do now. I don't know how many Ooh. we can do of 1,000 of these Ethiopians. They are waiting. When was the last time you could wake up tomorrow and say, I responded to God and I was the answer to someone's prayer. Wow. Right now, some mother, some father, some wow. family is praying, God, mm. God, get us out of here, yes. save us. And your soul is being sent mm. to that My place goodness. because you're watching right now. Wow. Do it now. Wow. We're gonna be right back and we're gonna pray for the light of God to yes. touch any place that's dark in your life and bring a miracle. We'll be right back. As you've heard today, it's urgent that we receive your help now to save these dear Jewish people by making it possible for them to Aliyah to Israel. Time is running out and Pastors Larry and Tiz are asking you to give today before this window of opportunity closes. For your gift of any size, we want to say thank you by sending you this informative Names of God booklet. It's an incredible study aid outlining and defining all of the names of God found in the scriptures. And since this month's offer is keep one, give one, you'll receive two. As you are able to sow a love gift of $100 toward helping these Ethiopian Jews, we'll add in this beautiful pen covered in the names of Christ. You will want to use this pen for your Bible study notes and for many more everyday uses. Remember, you'll receive one to keep and one to give to a friend. For your gift today of $375, we'll include this daily devotional entitled 100 Names of God. Each page provides a reference and a revelation of the various facets of God's nature and His love. You'll get one to keep in your library and one to give away. If you've been looking for an opportunity to make a significant gift before the end of the year, Pastors Larry and Tiz believe this Aliyah project is a chance for your giving to make a real difference in someone's life by providing them with a future of peace and security. For your generous gift of $750, you'll not only be covering the cost of bringing one person to Israel, but you will also receive two copies of this special edition Names of God Bible. With more than 10,000 references to God restored to the original Hebrew meaning, names like Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Sidkenu, and Jehovah Rapha have been reintroduced into their appropriate places in the Word. This enhanced version of the scriptures will broaden your understanding of who God was and is in every situation of your life. And as you give today to save lives, you'll be receiving two of every resource mentioned. Our operators are standing by now to receive your offering. Simply call 800-978-8546 and let us know what level of giving you want to participate in and we'll get these gifts out to you right away. 
If you prefer to give online, you can easily do so by going to LarryHuck.tv and choosing your level of giving there. Remember, you can always opt out of receiving the resources mentioned if you choose to do so. Again, the number to call is 800-978-8546. Or if you prefer to send your gift in by mail, please make note of the address on the screen. We know you have a choice when supporting charitable projects, and we want you to know that your gift today will literally be saving the lives of Ethiopian Jews. You are giving into good soil, and pastors Larry and Tiz truly appreciate your sacrifice. Thank you again for your generous support, and we hope you'll take advantage of this special Keep One, Give One offer. Now, let's rejoin Pastors Larry and Tiz. You know, you've heard Tiz and I say so many times in ancient Jewish wisdom, there's no, no word for coincidence. coincidence. Here, God has led us this month to teach on you being the light of the world, <laughs> and it's the time of Christmas, Christmas yes. tree lights, it's the time of Hanukkah, the festival of lights. Yes. It's not a coincidence. God is saying, Amen. that's why God is tugging on your soul. Right. That the, the, the steps of a righteous person yep. are guided yes. by the Lord. You don't have to worry about how are you going to get your miracle? Right. Be a miracle. Yes. I mean, it's, that's not a gimmick. No. Be a miracle. Heavens, no. And you always reap yes. what you sow. We want to thank you for continually praying for baby lion. He is walking in his miracles. He is closer yes. to the end than he's ever been. Yep. And we want to release that same miracle Amen. on you. Tiz, yes. would you pray today for God to touch <laughs> Father, people? Father, thank you for our precious partners and friends. Yes. And Father, as they have a heart after your own heart and honor you, Lord, we just release that honoring, that blessing, and all the miracles into their lives, for their lives, and through their lives. In Jesus' name. We love you so much. We're so grateful for you. Thank you for being with us. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye God bye. bless. Bye-bye. Pastors Larry and Tiz are hosting a tour to Israel next May, and you're invited. The One New Man Israel Tour will take place May 18th through the 29th. If you've never been to Israel before, don't miss this chance to see the Holy Land with Pastors Larry and Tiz as your guides. They're able to show you the land of the Bible in a way no other tour can match. To actually see the footsteps where Jesus actually walked, to see the different historical sites is so amazing. And I would admonish anyone who has been thinking about coming to Israel, thinking about going on a tour, this is the perfect time to do it. From a spiritual side, it is absolutely amazing to see the sites, to know the Bible is true, um, to read, connect in the real life with what I read in the Bible. Um, there's a spiritual presence here which you don't find anywhere else in the world. Pastor Larry explains at every place our connection to our Jewish roots. He prays for us, he takes the time, he rides in the bus with us. It's just a very personal one-on-one -on -one time, and um, you should come. Reservations are filling up quickly, so make sure to confirm your place on this trip as soon as possible. For more information, you can contact Yala Tours at 800-644-1595. We look forward to seeing you in Israel in May 2019.